Hi everyone, I'm Danielle from BookWarBlog.com and this is my weekly haul. I'm going to start with my haul a little differently. Normally I do e-copies first. This week I'm going to start with bound copies. And the first book that I got is possibly the most awesome book you can ever get in your life. A Week to be Wicked by Tessa Dare. But that's not only the cool part. There's one more cool thing about this book. It came with a nice little letter from Tessa. And, um, signed to I really like signed books. I really get into it. So, <laughs> that was my only bound book. Um, so, my ebooks actually ended up buying A Week to Be Wicked by Tessa Dare because I didn't want to ruin the signed copy. Uh, once you treasure it and love it. <laughs> and, uh, I also got a book called Racing the Wind by Reagan Walker. And I'm actually reading it right now. I'm a part of a flash mob review going on on Monday. Basically all the reviews go live at the same time. And um, you know what? I probably won't ever do it again. <laughs> I'm really bad with set dates. You give me a set date and all of a sudden my procrastination takes over and it's like, wait, wait, go paint your nails, go talk on the phone, go walk the dog you don't have. You know, like I, something about having a set date messes with me. So uh, yeah, excited about that one. Um, my review will go live on Monday. I'm almost done. I actually have like 60 pages left, so I'll make it. I wasn't sure <laughs> I was going to make it up first. And then I have A Season for Sin by Vicki Drilling. It's like a 99 cent novella on Barnes & Nobles this week, so it's an angry copy. Then I got A Proper Relations by Julianne Ross, which is a net galley that I really wanted, so I'm excited I got approved. Next one I really want it. It's called Seven Nights in a Rogue's Bed by Anna Campbell. And like I when I got approved for that one, it's kinda like winning the lottery. And when you get like that, like you get approved from Nick Galley and you're like, Yes, score, I'm awesome. Nick Galley loves me, you know. <laughs> no, just me. No good. Okay. And then the last one is The Wild One by Danelle Harmon. Now, my name's Danielle. D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E. Her name is Danelle, D-A-N-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. My husband's trying to tell me it's still Danielle, but if it was still Danielle, I'd have an eye, right? No? Okay. I'm calling her Danielle, because if uh, you don't have an eye, you're Danielle. Uh, all right, <laughs> that's it for my haul. I want to tell you a secret. If you're still listening, I have a new header in the works that I'm incredibly excited about. I already got to see it, and it's beautiful. I love it. I've been wanting to replace the zombie for a little while now. I've kind of drifted off from paranormal a bit. So uh, I wanted something more romantic, more book horror. And I got in touch with a girl named Robin. Robin does the book covers for a lot of awesome novels you see. And uh, she also does the Authors After Dark uh, little graphics, I guess. And they're beautiful, and I love them. So I contacted her, and uh, she had me a new header in a day. One day. And it's beautiful. I love it. I, I mean, I can't wait to have it and it be mine, and I can show you guys. But, um, yeah, one day. It's beautiful. And she's talented, man. She just asked me, like, what kind of thing I was going for, and I threw out some pictures, and she took it, and she had this amazing thing come to life and in a day. I think it's amazing. So I can't wait for you to see it. I've already sent her like four emails. I don't think she works on the weekend. Just like, you're awesome. I love you. Here's my size. She's going to come back on Monday morning and be like, this girl is a nut. Anyway, so can't wait to show you. Now for the blog. I got um, a review of Taste by Kate Evangelista, which was a great book. Any book that um, takes the YA paranormal genre and doesn't include vampires is pretty awesome because YA... Paranormal has pretty much just been overrun by vampires and werewolves. Time for a change. And she did a great job. And um, I'm not going to tell you what it, the you know creatures are. They're flesh eaters of sorts. But it's a great twist on an old species. So check it out. Then uh, I had a really state giveaway with Sandy James. It's the Reluctant Amazon. Three winners, I believe. It's sad when you don't remember what's going on. <laughs> and then um, I had a let's talk about hot, embarrassing book covers. I'm frequent in um, being embarrassed by my book covers because 
I am creating a sex scene and people know it because they see my hot cover and people tend to judge people who read romance novels and I know I shouldn't care but who wants to be judged <laughs> and that's it oh first week of book club with Therese Bolton it's Lonely Souls and it was great oh, the first few chapters are awesome I can't wait to keep reading and that's it I uh, have a ton of homework to do so I gotta go and um, I hope you all got some awesome books and leave your links and I will come by and check out all your awesome haul. Bye!